up next, ah, yes, a women's strawweight matchup between Jessica Andrade and Rose Namajunas. All right, so here's the former UFC strawweight queen, Thug Rose Namajunas. She's a very interesting individual, DC, because as much as she is a lifelong martial artist and loves to train, there's something about fight night and all of the accompanying emotions that she really doesn't care for. Yeah, she doesn't love it all that much, but she loves the preparation for getting in the octagon, and once she arrives there, she usually will give her best self. She's a fantastic striker, showed that in the second Namajunas fight, right. but don't forget about all the submissions that she had from her time on The Ultimate Fighter, her time in Invicta, all the way to becoming the striker that we saw knock out Jan Jacek to win the UFC title. When she is at her best, as she was in that first round against Jessica oh. Andrade, most people believe that she is still the best straw weight in the world. She will try to prove it again here tonight. Another big spot for Thug Rose Namajunas. All right, so here's Jessica Andrade. Her 11 UFC wins, the most of any woman in UFC history, and of course, the biggest among them, that slam knockout of Rose Namajunas to rest the belt away back in 2019. Her nickname is the Power Driver, and that's exactly what she did against Rose Namajunas from being behind in a fight, but just staying the course. It's always about her pressuring her opponents and getting her hands on her. When she knocked out Karolina Kovalkiewicz, you understood that you were watching something different because you don't see one-punch knockouts at 115 pounds in boxing for men or in the UFC for right. women. Jessica Andrade possesses that type of power, and she has a laundry list of some of the biggest names this division has ever seen on her resume. Yeah, she's the total package, as classy as it gets, and she will try to leave this arena the way she came in as the best strawweight in the world. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC strawweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a mixed martial artist holding professional record of 10 wins, four losses. She stands five feet, five inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds, fighting out of Denver, Colorado, USA, Fog Rose. And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a Muay Thai kickboxer holding a professional record of 20 wins, eight losses. She stands five feet one inch tall, weighing in at 115 pounds, fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, Jessica Mateus Papa Andrade. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Dan Bergliata. So Dan Mergliata shares the cage. You ready? You ready? All right, so round one is underway. Going to be very interesting to see how this fight plays out between one fighter who does everything well against kind of a striking specialist on the other side. And the problem with being a striking specialist is that you have to be upright. When you're facing a full-on mixed martial artist, expect a level change. We're going to see what type of improvement she's made in terms of defending herself in those wrestling situations. Well, a combination lands for her there. It's hard to recall a past fight of hers in which her striking has looked this fluid and pitiful. She's sharp as a tack. Sharp as a tack. Everything is landing. She's doing a great job. Takedown defense holds up. Namajunas gets in the clinch yet again. Throws the punch there and connects. Nice job by her there. Nice job. Nice punch. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. Stuffs the takedown shot there. How good is her takedown D? And they separate. Oh, that's a big hook there. Jab, counter through her there. Nama Yunus' shot is blocked. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Big body kick lands. 
Nice stick with the right hand. Nice kick. Clean with the right hook. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Jessica Andrade. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Nice stick with the right hand. Oh, nice job to get the guard up there as the strike is blocked by Rose Namajunas. Just out of range with that right hook. All right, so once again, they will clinch, and we will see which fighter is able to advance their position. Who's going to be the first one to attempt to take down? Both of our combatants have the ability to score and secure the position. Who's going to be the one that makes the first move? Real nice body kick lands. All right, so once again, the fighters engage in the clinch. We'll see who will have the upper hand here. There are so many options to dictate and control this exact position. Who is going to take advantage of it? Ten seconds now to go in the round. Right hand punch to the clinch. Battling for hooks. Here we go as our next round gets underway, and you know I'm no stat guy, I'm no punch counter, but it's hard to recall a single strike that landed. She went back to the stool essentially untouched. I mean, no significant ones. I mean, they say a significant strike is anything outside of a jab. I didn't see anything more than the jab landing that round at all. So she is just fighting so well defensively. It almost seems as though she's taking a rope-a-dope approach. Let my opponent throw, 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 exhaust herself, and then I'm gonna get going as we get deeper into the fight. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. So 42 total strikes and counting that have landed for Jessica Andrade. Well, not the greatest land percentage necessarily. 37% the accuracy thus far against Rose Namajunas. There's been all the weight into it, and now this could be the beginning of the end for her opponent. It seems like we are in the final act of a four-part play, because this fight is about done. Great movement by her here on the ground, and she just does it so fluidly and so easily. It, it's really a sight to behold. You can tell that she's been a lifetime developing this skill with the way that she's able to move with so little effort on the mat. Nice stick with the right hand. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Keep the pressure going on that ground game. Let's go. Keep busy, keep busy. Well, Nami Yunus is now trying for the Kimura. And this might just be a matter of time. Finishing instincts as well. You see a lot of fighters get the dominant position, but aren't necessarily able to lock up the choke or force the tap. No problem with her as she gets one of the bigger wins of her UFC career. All right, so there's the end of the round. And in terms of offensive wrestling execution, she had it all going there. Yeah, she had it all working. She did everything she wanted to do. She was racing to position. Once she got to a leg, she didn't pause. She didn't stop. She went right to the finishes that she needed in order to get the fight to the ground. I mean, that was a great display of offensive wrestling. So there she is, your winner by way of submission. That's a finish they'll be talking about for some time. The official decision is Ladies in. And That's where we find Bruce Buffett. Has called a stop to this contest at three minutes of round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out. Fog Rose Namayuna! Well, really nice to see this young woman get a chance to exhale as she celebrates with her coaches. 
You've won world titles in two divisions, but you're not calling your shot the way she is. She said, I'm going to win this fight by submission, and it goes into the books just that way. That's so much confidence to put yourself out on the limb like that. Nobody is brave enough to say, I'm going to do it here, here, or here. She did exactly that and got that submission. Her star will only shine brighter after this performance.